G'day. In today's video, I've got an iPhone X, and this particular one is just boot looping, which I believe I already know what's going on with this. The customer said that, it, that whenever they try and charge it up, it just seems to go in a chaotic loop. And typically when I've seen that, it's because the front IR blaster has had some form of liquid damage to it. And if I disconnect that flex cable, I should be able to hopefully get this to power up. Granted, from there, you could either potentially remove it, you can take it somewhere to get it moved under, an, or you can treat it with alcohol to clean it. Which, best case scenario, that does sort it out. And right now, the bottom screw just does not want to leave. There we go, now we're going. To an extent. I'm going to proceed to get the screen out from there. It's because I can't turn it off right now, I'm just going to start prying it up. I have had it sitting on this heat machine for just a little bit just so it gets nice and toasty. It's not my preferred workbench but my current heat pad has died so I don't have an alternative at this point in time. As the heat does make the adhesive around the screen a lot softer and from there I can usually get into the phone. Go. Okay, and we're in. So from here, I'm going to take out the shield, which is these screws here is covering. And then I'm just going to simply disconnect and reconnect the battery, or disconnect the battery, and disconnect the front sensors. And I want to see what happens from there. And this one. If you can't potentially get your phone going again after disconnecting this, or well, let's say you, it ends up being a front sensor, you can at least be able to hopefully back up your phone to transfer to a new one. So from here I'm going to disconnect the battery, which goes to here. That one there. And I'll disconnect the screen cable over here. There, so that's the front sensor connector there. Pull that out of the way. Reconnect this back up. Probably need to let it go off heat for a little bit, as it is quite toasty, and it will fir uh, firm will throttle itself, come up for heat warning. But I'm just hitting the power button now. And I'm just gonna let that wake up for a little bit, and then I'll move it off camera. Just in case there's any personal information that's on here, or a photo or something like that. So I'm going to move this away now, but so far this is lasting longer than what it was doing already. So, so far it's a promising so, uh, that that front sensor is more than likely the problem. And being a, bringing it back over, we have unable to activate Face ID. So right now this phone here has started once more and we should be able to get in some info off there, do a backup. I'm gonna progress to the next stage though. What I'm gonna do is soak the front facing sensor into some, in with some isopropyl alcohol. Hopefully clean it. Hopefully that will revive it and be fully functional once more. Take that off the side. The giveaway to why I fought that is at the front here, the, the speaker grill itself looks reasonably dirty. And usually when it stays dirty like that, it's because dirt or dust has gotten in there and has taken it out. No, no, this one it looks to be an iPhone XS, I believe. I'm pretty sure the iPhone X has a number screw here. Not that it really matters, this information's relevant to those as well. Um, and also newer iPhones that also have Face ID. Go. Go. And there we go. So 
So usually the fault happens here with this particular sensor right here, which is known as the flood illuminator. I'll zoom you guys in. There we go. So this here is either corroded or failed in one particular way or another. I'm hoping I lay it here. Soak it into some of this. This should hopefully be able to kick it back into gear. I'll leave it on here for now. I'm just going to let that sit there on the heat for just a little bit and in the alcohol. And then I'll reassemble it with that attached and see how we go. It's been cooking just for a little bit now. So I want to reattach it to the screen, reinstall it, and hopefully from there we have a booting phone once more. So this is, should be relatively straightforward. Line up where it needs to line up. Hopefully we've got a magnetic screwdriver. That certainly helps the task. your battery is disconnected while you connect this all up. <clears throat> Otherwise you do risk a short of the backlight or other major damage. Line that up. Push it in. Fold these down. Connect. 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 There we go. And hopefully hit the power button from here. And fingers crossed, we see a picture once more. And no, we're no good. So not every single time that's gonna succeed. Sometimes we just have to simply replace it. Anyway, that is essentially iPhone XXS boot loop and that's what you can expect with your phone. Hopefully with disconnecting that front sensor you're able to at least be able to retrieve your information and your data and yeah I hope that helps. It's not exactly a solution but you get an idea on how to kind of get around it. From here I'll potentially be replacing the front facing sensors which also includes the EP speaker um, which is a generic one. It will lose face ID but all the other features should be retained. Anyway, that will do for today, and I'll see you later. Bye. Just a quick follow-up. I did end up taking off the flood illuminator using a heat gun or a hot air workstation. That's it here in my hand. So either the connections on this have failed or the actual unit has failed. As you can see on here, that's where it will normally be living. But as you can also see, unable to activate Face ID. So Face ID is disabled. This phone will still have this earpiece speaker for the phone to ring. But at this point in time, Face ID is dead on this phone, but it should still be active, usable for everything, but things requiring Face ID. That will do. Bye.